Hello everyone, welcome to the world of Lean Six Sigma. I am Mohit Sharma, your mentor and coach on Lean Six Sigma issues and problems. Today I am going to talk about some of the Lean Six Sigma data analytics quality tools. I have been making videos on some of the basic Lean tools, some of the advanced Lean and Six Sigma tools, but this is my attempt to make a video on some of the data analytics quality tools. In today's video, what we are going to learn Pareto chart, box plot, basic statistics, regression analysis and control chart. So these are the five basic data analytics quality tools that we are going to study in today's video. Friends, you can buy my authored books on Amazon. My first book is Eight Steps to Problem Solving, which talks about Six Sigma concepts. And my second book is Continuous Improvement, The Lean Way, which talks about the lean concepts. What is a Pareto chart? Pareto is basically 80-20 rule in which 80% of the effects comes from 20% of the causes. It is also used as a tool for pictorial representation of discrete data. We will go to Minitab and see how this tool works. Some of the tools that we are going to learn like box plot and basic statistics, we are going to learn directly in Minitab. So that is the first tool that we are going to learn is Pareto chart. In column C1T, I have data for agents. The name of the agents are written there and the count of errors. So we have to identify which are top 75% contributors. So let's create a Pareto chart and identify top 75% contributors. For that, we will go to stat, quality tools and Pareto chart. In defects or attribute data, we will enter agents. We will double click on this to enter. And in frequencies, we will enter count of errors and we will click OK. This is the graph that you will get. If you have to identify top 75% contributors, you will have to look at agent C, G, E, F and B. If you have C, G, E and F, it will only have 74%. But if you have to include the 75%, you will have to take the next agent, which is B. So this is how a Pareto chart is created and the application of Pareto is that you want to narrow down which all agents you should focus so that your 80% of the problem is improved. So you have to focus on agent C, G, E, F and B. Your 81.8% problem will be resolved. Moving on to the next quality tool which we have seen is called box plot. So box plot is basically the pictorial representation of continuous data. Pareto chart was pictorial representation of discrete data. Box plot is pictorial representation of continuous data. So I have my continuous data of cycle time in column C1. And then I have two more data points, which shift and which city. So people are working in different cities and in different shifts. So we want to identify which shift of which city is taking minimum amount of cycle time to process the transactions. And that help can be done with the help of a box plot. To create a box plot, we will go to graph and then we will go to box plot. In box plot, we will go to with groups box plot. Under graph variable, we will enter cycle time. And under categorical variable, we will enter shift as well as city. And we will click OK. If you look at this box plot, so why it is called box plot because it looks like a box, right? So this is the box in the center. These are the two lines which go still 99th percentile. This line goes till first percentile. And this box gives you the width of the data basically. So quartile first is this one and quartile three is this one. And if you take your cursor on the box, it will give you certain readings. For example, in this box case, it is saying median is 1.08, Q1 is 0.92 and Q3 is 1.64. So morning shift of Delhi is taking minimum amount of time to process a transaction. You can check the medians of all the other shifts. The median is 2.4 here. The median is 1.6 here and the median is 2.69 in this particular case. So overall, if you look at morning shift of Delhi is taking minimum time to process. So the median identified as 1.08 is the least median. Hence, once this has been identified, the best practices which this team is following should be replicated across different cities and different uh, shifts. 
moving on to the next quality tool which is basic statistics so in basic statistics what you have to see whether the data is normally distributed and if it is normally distributed what is the mean and what is the standard deviation and if it is non normally distri distributed we use median and interquartile range so what are those values so basic statistics helps you uh, do this basic analysis of the data so data of cycle time is continuous data we will go to stat basic statistics and graphical summary in graphical summary under variables i will enter cycle time and i will click okay this p value 0.401 which is greater than 0 0.05 so guys remember this value should be greater than 0 0.05 not 0 0.5 so if it is greater than 0 0.05 the data is normally distributed hence i will use mean for this data which is 6.9 and standard deviation which is 0 0.992 if this p value is less than 0 0.05 then i would have been using the median which is 6.8 and interquartile range which is 7.5 minus 4.9 to represent the data friends you can buy my authored books on amazon my first book is eight steps to problem solving which talks about six sigma concepts and my second book is Continuous Improvement, The Lean Way, which talks about the lean concepts. The next tool that we are going to learn is called Regression Analysis. Regression Analysis, it is a statistical method that helps in determining the extent to which a relationship exists between two variables. And one of the variable is independent variable and the other one is dependent variable. For example, call time in a call center is a dependent variable and Hold time of the call is independent. So call time of a call center is dependent on the hold time of the call. So the hypothesis that the team is going to test is that when the hold time increases, the call time will also increase. If that is the case, we will try to control the hold time. Let's go to minute time and see the analysis. As I told you, cycle time and hold time are the two variables which have to be tested together. To test this, we will go to stat regression fitted line plot under response y we will enter call time and under predictor x we will enter hold time and we will click ok if the r square adjusted value is greater than 65 percent then hold time and cycle time are strongly correlated so it means my whole time is impacting my cycle time. You can look at the graph also. When my whole time is increasing, my cycle time of the call is also increasing. So if I have to control the cycle time, I have to reduce this whole time. This is the equation of the line which gets generated. So I can fix what is the call time that I need. Equivalent to that, I will get a whole time value. I have to keep the whole time value at a particular level so that my cycle time doesn't cross the limits. The last but not the least, the next tool that we are going to learn is control chart. And the first one is for when the data is continuous, you have three types of control chart. One is individual and moving range control chart, which is called IMR. Then you have X bar R chart and X bar S chart. The second type of control charts are called discrete data control charts. They are four. One is called P, one is NP, one is C and U. And there are detailed videos that I have made on the control charts as well. You can go to my channel and look at those videos. But in this video, what we are going to learn is the basic control chart, which is IMR chart. So let's go to Minitab and learn there. We will only talk about IMR control chart here, individual moving range. So what we are going to learn is how to create IMR chart and how to create before and after conditions in the IMR chart. I have data of cycle time which is before the project began. So let's create a IMR chart here and then we will create IMR chart on the after data and then we will create a IMR chart which will show us both before and after state together. We will go to stat, control charts, variable charts for individuals and IMR chart. I will click here. In variables I will enter cycle time and I will click OK. The project, the mean was 6.65 and the moving range was, the mean of moving range was 5.92. And once the improvements have been made, then the new chart, which is cycle time after the improvement chart, how will that look like? I will press Ctrl E to go to the previously used Lean in Minitab. 
then under variables i will select cycle time after the improvement and i will click ok so if you look at this chart the cycle time has reduced the average is 1.17 and the moving range is also reduced which is 0.958 now if you have to study both of them together what you can do is you can create a stack of this data one over the other like for example i will keep this data below before cycle time data and here till 40 i will write before so i have to put stages here so the this stage is before stage and the stage below this is the after stage data right so from 41 onwards it is after now i will copy after in front of this data all right so now i have data stacked in column c1 and c3 what i will do is i will go to stat control charts control charts for individuals imr chart in imr chart now i will enter data under variables as cycle time because it has both the data sets before and after i will go to imr options in stages in stages i will enter column c3 here and click ok and ok this is how you will get both the data sets in one graph so before data is also here and after data is also here before range is here after range is here so you can see there is huge difference you know in range as well there's huge difference in the mean cycle time as well which is 6.65 in this case and 1.17 in this case so overall if you want to show the comparison before and after you can use this chart so friends with this i am going to end my video today i hope you really like this video and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends i will see you in my next upcoming video till then take care bye bye friends you can buy my authored books on amazon my first book is eight steps to problem solving which talks about six sigma concepts and my second book is continuous improvement the lean way which talks about the lean concepts